Have you ever seen a heart monitor suddenly show a fast, wide, and dangerous rhythm? And within seconds, the patient collapses? That's when doctors fear the worst. Ventricular tachycardia, or even worse, pulseless VT. But what's the difference between these two? Let's break it down simply. Causes, symptoms, and treatments. So you'll never confuse them again. The ventricles, the heart's main pumping chambers, are responsible for sending blood to the entire body. Now, ventricular tachycardia, or VT, happens when these ventricles start beating too fast, usually more than 100 beats per minute. And the rhythm originates from an abnormal electrical focus in the ventricles, not the normal pacemaker, the SA node. This abnormal rhythm can be with a pulse or without one. And that's where the key difference lies. In ventricular tachycardia with a pulse, the heart is still managing to pump blood. Not perfectly, but enough to keep the person alive. Symptoms may include palpitations, feeling like the heart is racing out of control, dizziness or lightheadedness, chest pain or discomfort, shortness of breath, sometimes near fainting. If not treated quickly, this can deteriorate into pulseless VT or ventricular fibrillation, which is a full cardiac arrest. Causes of ventricular tachycardia with pulse are coronary artery disease or previous heart attack, which is the most common cause. Cardiomyopathy, weakened heart muscle, electrolyte imbalances, especially low potassium or magnesium, drug toxicity, such as digoxin or antiarrhythmics, genetic syndromes like long QT syndrome or Brugada syndrome. Treatment for VT with pulse. If the patient is stable, doctors may use antiarrhythmic drugs such as amiodarone, procainamide, or lidocaine. If the patient is unstable, showing low blood pressure, chest pain, or loss of consciousness, then synchronized cardioversion is performed immediately to restore normal rhythm. Now, let's talk about the dangerous one. Pulseless ventricular tachycardia, often written as PVT. Here, the electrical system is still firing rapidly, but the heart muscle is no longer contracting effectively, so no pulse can be felt. No blood is circulating, and the patient is in cardiac arrest. Causes are the same as VT, but often in a more severe form, like a massive myocardial infarction severe hypoxia, acidosis, or major electrolyte disturbance. Symptoms includes, there's no pulse, no effective breathing, and unresponsiveness. It looks like sudden cardiac death. And it is if not treated immediately. Once pulseless VT is identified, it's treated as a cardiac arrest. According to ACLS guidelines, start CPR immediately, high quality chest compressions. Then attach a defibrillator or AED if the rhythm is shockable, VT or VF, deliver one shock immediately. Resume CPR for two minutes before rechecking rhythm. Give epinephrine every three to five minutes. Give amiodarone, 300 milligrams intravenous bolus, then 150 milligrams if needed. Continue alternating CPR, rhythm checks, and shocks until return of spontaneous circulation or resuscitation is stopped. The goal is to restore a pulse and perfusion as fast as possible. So remember, both are medical emergencies, but pulseless VT means cardiac arrest, and every second counts. If you ever see someone collapse suddenly, start CPR and use an AED as soon as possible. It could literally save their life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Daily Cardiology for more life-saving medical insights.